Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Common English Mistakes. Don't just learn, improve. So today I've got a mistake with a very common verb and something which isn't technically wrong, but something people would never say. Not very natural. So after watching the video, you're going to know when to use this verb and also when to use another verb in more formal situations. So anyway, the mistakes are up here. I had a good mark in my last exam and I received a nice present for my birthday. So just pause the video, try to correct the sentences and also think why they are wrong. And well done if you said I got a good mark on my last exam. Generally speaking, have is going to be the state and get is the action. So for example, we got a puppy and now we have a puppy. He got a job and now he has a job. And then for the other one, receive is the right meaning, but it's way too formal for this context. In everyday situations, you want to be using get. I got a nice present. I got a postcard from my friend. I got a letter from the bank. Receive, you're going to use in more formal or written situations. So, for example, you might write in a job application, I received very good appraisals from my last boss. Or he received a warning from the company. And this is a very common thing. In everyday, normal situations, it's much more natural and you're going to sound a lot better if you use the verb get. Whereas in more formal or maybe for written work, it's much better to use the other verb, whatever it may be. So over here, I've got nine other sentences using the verb get. So just pause the video, look at the context, and think what the meaning of get is in these sentences. And well done for the first one, if you said that means to buy. It's very natural, especially for everyday things, to use get. But you could also say he got a new car. And good job for the next one, if you said that means obtain or acquire. And we use this for things like jobs or opportunities. And then for the next one, it means go somewhere and collect. So you can get your kids from school, but you can get something from the fridge. And then the next one's very useful. Um, our teacher explained it a few times and we finally got it, meaning to understand. So this can be something when you're learning, a concept, but also we use it with people. My sister really gets me, understands me emotionally. And then for the next one, very natural to use the word get to talk about earning money. So nurses don't get enough money, in my opinion. And then the next one, we can use the verb get plus an adjective or a past participle meaning become. So he got worried when he couldn't find his wallet. We didn't have a map and got lost. And we can use get to infinitive, meaning have the opportunity. So we got to see Wales on our holiday. I didn't get to see Tom in New York because he was busy. And then the last two both mean to receive. Uh, but it's very natural to use get to talk about cities, places. So get tourists, get mosquitoes, get different types of weather. And then also to talk about different signals. So I'm not getting any signal. Do you get fast internet where you live? Anyway, explanation over. Um, it is quite a simple thing, a simple verb. But if you can use get effectively, you're going to sound really natural in everyday normal situations. Before we do an exercise, um, if you are enjoying the video, please make sure you to hit that subscribe button, guys, um, and help this channel grow. Anyway, when you're ready, let's practice and improve. 
just pause the video and put these phrases or words into the sentences. And well done if you said the last thing I got from the fridge was a yogurt. Uh, you don't get reception on the metro. Uh, we don't get a lot of crime in my city. Uh, I would like to get to visit Colombia one day, have the opportunity. And my best friend really gets me, understands me. Um, I get excited when I'm about to go on holiday, become excited. Um, I got a postcard from my friend uh, who's in Sri Lanka. And I need to get some toothpaste from the supermarket. And now just write, say or discuss the same sentences for you. And then today's question, uh, what was the best present you ever got? So do write those answers in the comments, guys. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Um, it's not all of the definitions, so I would recommend going to the Macmillan Dictionary page uh, where you can find more. I put the link in the description, so do make sure to check it out. Other than that, um, as ever, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you in another video in the next couple of days. Until then, see ya!